In the nursery we've got, we're registered for 83 children and we have 27 staff on the premises. The majority of them have been here for long periods of time so we've got a really good continuity of staff within the building um, and you'll see as you sort of go around the ethos of the nursery is a happy fun place environment to be. Um, we promote challenging play for the children and um, all the, the ideas come from the children, they take complete ownership um, of their, their learning. The, the children at the nursery, um, it's very evident from babies right through the nursery that there's a real um, continuity of children's learning. So if there's topics and themes going on within the building, it basically starts in the, from, for example, health and wellbeing. It starts from the babies. There's a talk and thinking floor book that works right through the nursery um, where we promote basically the, the, the children's opportunities are there from babies right through to, to P5. Um, and I think that it's really unique that the children actually are now starting to evaluate their own learning as well. So you can ask the children what they like best about it, what they didn't like, what they would do next time, how differently they do it, why they've done it, when they would do it. And it's really good because I think that it gives them a really early start from a preschool, from when they go into school, that they'll actually be able to concentrate, learn, understand why that they're doing certain activities. We take a lot of our um, activities out into the garden. Um, as well, so the children run around, they count, they play games. We have an eco garden um, where the children go in and they do lots of planting and they'll actually tell us when they want to do it. So if they're in the, the nursery, they'll say that they want to go out into the garden now and we'll take them, get their coats on and we'll go. There's no sort of set time um, where we're like, you know, 10 o'clock, right, is our garden time. The children can go out and in as they please throughout the day um, as well, which they absolutely love. The activities come from the children, obviously. So a lot of a lot of the activities are adult-led, but the majority of them are child-centered. Um, the, the children basically um, bring in lots of uh, creative gluing from home, and they do lots of gluing and, and models all the time. There's there's a real variety of activities. They do lots of sand, water, um, role play, which they really enjoy. Role play is encouraged right through the nursery. Home corners are very important to children. Small world toys, where they're able to. Act out a lot of situations. They love story times, song times. We also use the Scout Hall next door, which is a great facility, especially in our Scottish weather that we have, rain constantly. Um, so we're able to take the children through there and do a lot of gym sessions with the children. At the moment, the preschool children are doing Zumba, which they, they really enjoy. And uh, this room here, the three to four year olds, they're actually doing enjoyable, um, just encouraging the children's coordination uh, and, and skills and sort of movement as well for the children. So there's a real variety of activities that go on throughout the nursery um, and the babies, they, they do water play as well, they do baking, sand play, they do a lot of textures with treasure baskets for the children um, and the babies as well, they love to do hand painting, foot painting, so lots of creative activities for them to experience and lots of um, textures within the, the young children. The children in our preschool room um, were showing signs of really wanting to, to learn more about books. Um, they bring in books every day, we, we read the children books and a lot of our parents were wanting them to start to, to actually learn to read but what we wanted to try and encourage the children to do is learn the actual comprehension behind stories um, as well. So they've just started a book club which is running really well. Um, ten children have the same book, they take the book away and they've actually now started a book club um, which they come back and discuss You know what they liked about the story what they didn't like about the story, what was their best bits, they draw pictures on their favourite um, pictures, they all know about illustrations, they've actually started to now write their own stories as well. So literally, literacy is encouraged throughout the nursery from babies right through to the, the preschool room. And we've always strived throughout the whole 18 years that we've been open, um, we've got a really good staff ethos within the nursery and they're motivated, self-motivated, then it's going to, it's going to show as a, as a good nursery. The staff, they meet regularly, they communicate well with each other. Um, if there's any problems that arise, we solve them, we discuss it, and you know we, we sort it out. Um, and I think that, that if you've got a really good bank of staff in the nursery, then that's that will set the ethos off within the children. If they're happy, it's a happy environment for the children to come into. The, the parents are very welcome to come. They, they have part of the, the nursery. They can come in and tell us you know, that they want their children to do a certain activity. Then absolutely, they have part of the running of the nursery as well through questionnaires, newsletters. We have an open door policy so parents can come into the office and discuss um, anything that they want to as well um, within the nursery.
Yes, I absolutely love working with children and I do, I find it very difficult when I am obviously the manager and the amount of paperwork, and I'm sure a lot of managers out there will agree, the amount of paperwork that we have to do now does tend to, 70% of our job is that, but there's still the opportunities to come into the rooms, read a story, um, join in at snack time, help the staff out as much as possible as well, so I absolutely do love my job. I've been here, as I said, um, for 18 years, qualified in 1989 and continually worked through childcare throughout that time.